Welcome home, everyone. I'm Michelle Spence with 21st Century Investments on AMS News TV, here with my co-host Mary Spence. And before we took a break, we were talking about the five-year rule and how long you plan on staying in your home. Um, so every time you buy or sell a home, money hits the table. Um, and that can be money coming out of your pocket every time you look to buy or sell. So if you don't plan on staying in a home for five years at least, at a minimum, at a minimum right? Think about all of those thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars in closing costs, right? That's true. Because after you buy your first home, you're no longer a first time home buyer. So a lot of the financial programs that are out there to assist you go away, right? So now that closing cost is coming from you. So every time you're selling, if you go every two years, you're like, I don't want this anymore. I want something else. While that's fine, think about the financial aspect that you could be taking a hit every time that happens, right? I don't know how much extra, you know, cash you have lying around. I mean, you can throw some another way, but you don't have to throw them on a house every two years if you don't want to. <laughs> well, a lot of excitement. A lot of excitement right here. <laughs> so the next thing we kind of want to talk about is how stable is your job? Um, are you in a reasonably stable job market? Um, are you in a stable career where you're not changing jobs every year or every nine months to a year? Um, think about that. How stable is your employment? Uh, can you count on it when you think about buying a home? Um, if you like to switch jobs from now, from here and there, every six to nine months, um, maybe renting might be the better option for you, right? So very true. I think that could work. Yes. Um, Job stability plays a large part in what the mortgage lender is going to be looking at through, throughout your home buying process. Absolutely. So what else are we kind of looking at? We want to look at where is your life headed? Perhaps you're in a relationship. <laughs> Or for other reasons, you could be considering renting. Um, if you want to buy a house, then you know maybe move in a year for whatever reason. It will cost you money. So unless you're considering um, renting, uh, you, you're going to hit that um, five-year rule unless you are going to become a landlord and that would help mitigate the five-year rule. It would. And we'll be talking about becoming a landlord in a future show. So also, now, if, if you bought a home, do you have enough left over at the end of the month for pen, for potential home repairs? So you want repairs? to look at... Yes. What do I have to fix? I just it's, bought it. It's inevitable that something <sighs> is going to be stop working. An appliance, you know, the, the dishwasher, the dryer, you know, a pipe burst. Oh, Lord, the hot water heater, the roof leaks. Just the heating up water So bed. you want to make sure that you're saving towards repairs because inevitably something is going to go wrong. Oh, man. And that's a part of becoming a homeowner versus renting where you call... Lou or the landlord. Well, okay. Come on, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want to ensure that at the end of the month that there is enough in a um, fund that you have set aside for repairs or renting could be the best option for you. That sounds like that B word again. Budget. Absolutely. No. Absolutely. Now, with that comes increased in expenses come as part of your home ownership. You're going to have your property taxes. You will also have homeowners insurance, association fees, lawn care, pest control. There, there's a lot to consider in going into this decision of becoming a homeowner. But don't let that uh, deter you from becoming a homeowner. It truly is uh, a wonderful thing for you. Uh, what else should we be looking at here, Michelle? Um, since you talked about the increased monthly expenses for you know association fees or homeowners insurance, mm -hmm. and then you talked about that nasty little B word budget uh, for all of these things, kind of look at the time aspect. How much time do you think you'll have a day, a week, a month to put towards maintaining a home? Cutting the grass that takes a while. Unless you have a guy for that. I don't know. I have a guy for that. Yes, we have a guy for that. <laughs> <laughs> so how much time do you have to run the ground calling the pest control company and taking off work for them to get there? 
Um, how much time do you have? You know, do you love a nice garden? How much time do you have to plant? How much time do you have to harvest, right? You have to think about the aspect of putting time to this when you're buying a home. When you're renting, those options really aren't available to you. That's so you got to think, you know, do I like it? Do I love it? Do I want it? Or not, right? How much time do you have for this? So I think when we come back, we'll be looking at just a few more aspects of what we want you to think about when you're buying a home. So join us. Thank you.